Okay, continue with step seven. Step seven of case problem two, module six. All right, we have impatient log. And actually, I already inserted I'll call them L and M. I think I'm, I was maybe too much ahead. But anyway, here we go. So to calculate wait time, we have to look at exam start time and appointment time, right? So if exam start time is greater than exam appointment time, then you have you know how long the wait time is, right? That's what it is. As you can see, exam time minus appointment time multiplied by 24 times 60. So that'll give you, it'll give you uh, the minutes. But once you have actually calculated, make sure you have changed the data format into general, okay? Same thing, widget length which is step 8, Basic length is calculated based on the difference between exam start and exam end, right? So when it's started, when it's ended, you know, obviously, you know, do the calculation on uh, exam end minus exam start, right? Then multiply by 24 by 60. So it will give you the number of minutes for widget length okay step nine step nine is asking for slicer okay so we're going to insert the slicer the slicer should be located on the insert tab right here slicer and we're going to insert slicer for department physician right and those uh, slicer will go to the dashboard worksheets somewhere up there paste it and the department goes up like that pretty wide physician same thing right below take up that much space right and it says set the layout of both slicers to five columns meaning that uh, you're gonna work on slice format right there look for column number change to five and the other one make sure it has column number five so you have uh, those five columns are lined up. All right, so step number 10. We're still on slicer, so we're going to uh, do a little bit of formatting further in terms of caption box, meaning that title up there for each slicer. So we're going to make this a caption or first one trading department that's how we're gonna make it and physician slicer we're gonna make it examining physician oops I'm sorry Let's just off a little bit. Step number 11. For each slicer, we're going to uh, adjust a little bit further in terms of using slicer settings. So that's just what I'm, what I'm going to do. We're going to click on hide items with no data. Same thing to the other one. 
slice the settings, make sure check mark, hide items with no data. Okay, so we're going to organize it a little bit. Step, that was step 11, then step 12. Now we're going to work on this area. So we're kind of finding those um, number of appointment, for example, appointment behind the schedule, appointment on time, average waiting time, average length of visit. Okay, so but we're going to use the subtotal function to do so. So we're going to work on subtotal. And when you use subtotal function, you need to select what which calculation you want to do in the first variable. So you want to select one of those, or you can type it in if you know that particular calculation number, which is sum for the first one. So I'm going to choose the 9, followed by comma. Then I'm going to go to that particular worksheet and I'm going to highlight patient weight field, which is K. So we know that uh, 118 appointments are behind the schedule. Now appointments on time, use the again subtotals. This time we're going to count a field, so we're going to use a count function, which is number two come on back to patient log and we're going to use appointment time field which is column A however that's the total appointment time right so we are looking at appointment time on appointments on schedule so we need to subtract those appointments that are not on schedule which is uh, let me see. K, I'm sorry, A19. A19 because appointment behind the schedule, right? Or we already calculated. So there you go. So if you just subtract 118 from 300, something you calculate on top, then you'll find it as 198, which is on time for the appointment. All right. Then step C, we're going to use once again subtotal. This time we're going to use the average function, which is number one, comma, average of wait time field, which is column L. Is that it? There you go. Average waiting time is two minutes. Are you sure? Okay, two minutes. I'm sorry, there's supposed to be a point on wait time field, right? Yeah. looking at hmm. okay let's move on and see whether this makes sense okay average length of widget the same thing subtotals average of obviously widget length which is column M 33 minutes that, that makes sense, right? 33 minutes of fidget time. Okay. All right. And in terms of step 13, which is next step, 
we're going to set the pie chart range of A18, B23. So those two columns basically. Pie chart. Then we're going to move to uh, A25 right there, B34. We move the legend. Then showing the call out data label showing percent. So it looks like we're going to go to data label, more option percent. Okay, so it should be look like this. I think we have more than what we need. Let's see. Something more like it. Now step fourteen. Histogram, right? Uh, from patient log. We're going to use wait time. Column. Right? Histogram. Right there. I'm going to move to dashboard. And from there, we're going to place to C25, C34. It's very, very small. Then we're going to adjust a little bit further. Title and adding data label and set Bin, bin width 5, so in terms of bin width, I'm going to uh, double click on the horizontal axis, there's a bin width, change it to 5, and overflow bin is right there, so again change that, underflow again, you make sure you change that. So I think at this point, um, I think pretty much cover those tabs, so I think the last step you're going to have to do is creating another histogram. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.